we're going to rehydrate the yeast for your Mosti Mondial wine kit. And we're going to do that simply by cutting off the top. We have two ounces of warm tap water. The water needs to be in the, in the temperature range of 104 to 109. So we're going to take our thermometer and we're going to measure the temperature of the water. And these um, readings are usually pretty fast. It's already going up. Uh, we've already measured the temperature, so I know what the temperature is. So now I'm going to add the yeast. I'm just going to sprinkle it in and leave it on top. I'm not going to stir it. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to set it aside for 15 minutes to let the yeast start multiplying. Now we're going to add our rehydrated yeast to the uh, must to start our wine. So we're going to take the, um, the yeast and we're going to gently stir it. And then we're going to add it to the must and stir as we add. Get the yeast suspended throughout the must. And now that we've added yeast to our wine, excuse me, yeast to our must, now we can refer to it as our wine. We don't need to stir a lot, we just want to get it spread out. So we're going to take the spoon out and we're going to take our airlock and put it in the lid and the grommet. Now notice that we're not putting it in the grommet over the wine because sometimes the grommets will come out. So we want to put this on the side, put our airlock in there, lay it on top. We generally lay our lids on top because all you're trying to do is keep dust and debris and insects out. Uh, if you have an area where you have a problem with insects, you'll probably want to snap it down. If you're concerned about hair from uh, pets, it would be a good idea to snap it down. Otherwise, just lay it on the top. That way, whenever you want to get into it to stir it, look at it, you can. You can also lift it up and smell it when you want to. Now that we've added the yeast uh, in our bucket with our wine, we're going to set the whole thing aside for at least three days. Let the fermentation start before we take any readings. Now is a good time to clean up, sit back, and enjoy a glass of wine while this batch starts its job.